So in the last video, we have seen how to create a module. So what we can do is we can simply right click on your project and you'll be getting an option of creating a new module. And once you create a new module, of course, by specifying a name, the, the way I have done here, you can see I have two modules here. One is telisco.main and the other one is telisco.util. In the first module, so in fact, in every module, you'll be having your SRC folder. And in the first module, you have your package as telisco.main. It's not compulsory to have the same name, uh, same package name as the module name, but then uh, in this example, I'm going for that. And then you have a class runner. Now, don't is a class when I'm performing some act of performing an operation where I'm printing uh, hello, that's it. But then I just don't want to print hello, I want to add two numbers. Now, the way you can do that is by is by writing the code here itself, or you can take help of some other class. Maybe I want to take help of a calculator class. I would say calculator c equal to new calculator. Uh, okay, so new calcu okay, calculator. And then once I got this object, I can add those two values. But then unfortunately, you can see we, are, we have a class defined here. If you remember, in the first video, we have created this class, but then that's a different package. I want to have that in my, uh, in my module. And but particularly, I want that in this uh, in this Java and uh, Telisco dot uh, module. Okay. So we already have our calculator here, right? So what we'll do is we'll simply create a calculator class here. Uh, in this, I will right click here. I will say new a Java class, and I will name this class as calculator, right? Calculator. And instead of typing the code by ourselves, uh, we have already done that, right? So let's copy this code, and you can see this calculator needs another class called as helper. Now, first of all, let me just paste it here. Oh, I guess I have copied. Is the wrong thing? Oh, it's the right thing. Okay. So you can see in this calculator, first of all, I want to move this calculator in a particular package. I will say package uh, telisco.util, right? Normally, we put our classes in this particular package. So let's say this calculator is there in java.util package. And I will simply move this to that particular package. And you can see we, we have done that. So in this util, now we have a package called as telisco.util. In this mod uh, module, we have a package called telisco.util and we have a calculator. But then unfortunately, the calculator is not working. Of course, it will not work because we have a class here, which is add helper. Now again, uh, you might be saying this structure not properly formatted. Now it's done. Okay, so we, we want an object of add helper. So for that, we need to have a class called add helper. I will do that on the same package, I mean not in the same package but in the same module and I will name this class as add helper. So we can create multiple modules and every module can have different classes. The only thing is I want to move this class to a, a different package, I will say package telisco.util.internal. So we can have a different package name, right? So we can have our classes in different packages. And as the name defined by this package, it also means that they are, I mean, this class need to be internal. We don't want anyone else to use this class. So java.util is one module, uh, math is another module. I want this class add helper to be a part only of this module. Can we do that? Let's try. So first of all, I will, I will make this class and this class need to have some methods with it. Uh, again, I will, I will not type everything by myself. I have already, already done that here. So I'll copy this code and put that in a new helper class. Okay, done. And now we can actually go and see. So everything is working. You can see we got add helper. You can see we got add helper, but then we have to import the package for that. I will simply say control space and import. Now, as you can see, calculator and internal, the both, I mean, the calculator and add, add helper belongs to same module, which is util, and this main, Belong, I mean, the runner belongs to another module. Now, can I use calculator? You can see it's not working. Oh, that's a problem now. It is not working. How can you use, how can we use this calculator which is another module? So we are trying to link two different modules here. Okay, now that's our challenge here. How can we link this two? So let's try to understand how can we do that. Now, to use another module in your current module, what you have to do is you have to use this module, module, hyphen, info.java file. In this, you have to mention, hey, uh, so you are you are informing your uh, project, hey, I, I'm expecting, so I require a module here which with the name telisco.util. So if you want me, if you want to make it work, 
you need to you need to have this how you need to have this uh, module here okay so it is showing an error we can fix that module not defined oh module not found that's that's weird we have a module here okay so to make it work i guess first of all we have to build this module and the way you can do that so again different uh, different ide have a different way of working so i guess in this you have to first build the module so that once you got once you build it uh, it should be available here you can see that it is available now in the output folder and i guess it will be available now oh it's not working what's wrong uh, do we need to do something here oh you can see that we don't have a module.info class here oh my bad in fact we should we need to have that file right so let's get that file and so now we are defining a module okay will it work now so if i have done everything now i have made my uh, java class let's build it once again since we made some changes i will say build and it's it is building is it uh, is it done building it okay so it should work now i don't know why it's not working okay so module is not in a dependency yeah so it, now it is able to find the module but it's not in a dependency so this is again uh, specific to intellij uh, let's add that in a dependency because intellij have a different way of working with the project structure if you are doing it command line you don't have to do that dependency part but then you don't you, you just have to make sure that whatever modules you are creating the, the way we are i was facing issue here uh, and this is a very normal issue, you know. Uh, so if you're facing issue, you have to make sure that you have module hyphen uh, info dot Java because that's what makes your normal folder as a module. And you can see that you are able this, you are able to get this module. And perfect, everything is working. You can see we got our module. We are saying, hey, to work with this module, you need a util module. And if I go back to runner, oh, we are still not able to get the calculator. That's weird because this main needs util and we have done that and still the calculator is not available. Now what if I say all the packages in a module are by default private and this, this is the beauty of modularity. All the packages are by default private. So how can we, you, how can you make it public? Uh, now first of all you don't make it public. What you simply do is you inform your module, hey module, this package which is java. I mean that is not util. I want it to be exported uh, for all the other module to use. So you have to export. So in this uh, module hyphen info of dot Java of a util package or util module, you have to inform your module that I want to export. So that's why we have one more uh, one more keyword to remember, which is export. So you have to say exports, and you have to mention the package name. The package name here is Telisco dot uh, telisco dot util that's the package name we are trying to export okay so th that's the beauty so you, if you want to export one to the package you can mention that so you can simply export that package and once you make the changes uh, build your module once again and now if you go back to the runner and let's import the package and you can see that we are getting it it's so easy now you are able to use this package because we have done we have done this code which is export but can i use helper let's try to create object of add helper i know it is internal but then can we use it the moment i do that you can see i said add helper and then maybe a uh, helper and if i give a semicolon you can see we are getting error here itself it says the module telisco.util does not export a package called as telisco.util.internal and that's why you are not able to do that so if you want to export that as well, then mention that. So mention here exports telisco.util.internal, then only it will work. Okay, that's how, you, yeah, that's how you use it. So if you don't want to export one package, you can simply skip it. So by default, all the packages are unique, or by, all, the, all the packages are private. And if you want to export a particular package, you have to mention that in your module. So we have seen two keywords here. One is requires. And the second one is export in modules. So the in requires you mentioned. So if one particular module needs another module, we say requires. Your current module want to export the packages to, so, so that someone else can use it. You have to use export. In fact, if you have some other module, you can also mention, hey, this particular module requires 
maybe some other module you want, maybe java.sql module, you can do that. Uh, so java.sql is a module, or it's a package, it's a module basically. So you are trying to use a module. Maybe you want to have something else. Uh, you want also want to have uh, Java dot, uh, maybe what else we can use, maybe Corva. Let's say you're building a Corva application, just mention Java dot Corva. It's just that it is deprecated and that's why uh, it is you, you are getting seeing a line there. Okay, so you can see we are saying we need two modules, one is SQL and one is Corva. So you can mention whatever module you need. And if you want to export a particular package from your module, you can simply use export. The point to remember here is by default, all the modules are, uh, all the packages are private in a module. And if you want to export a particular package, you just have to say exports. And that's the beauty about modularity. You have a control in your hand, right? And if you, if you don't, if you, if you are skipping some, if you are skipping some module, let's say, uh, this module export this classes and if you miss something and if you make a mistake it, you will get an error at compile time not a run time at least so yeah that's how you 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 work with multiple modules i hope you're enjoying this series of java 9 uh, if you're enjoying it do click on the like button and do let me know your reviews in the comment section i do i will read your comments and i will try to make modifications in the further videos so that's it thanks so much for watching